been a good week for a lot of work that's in its uh, you know no more two a day so it's I don't like to say it's the grind of camp but uh, I think we made some progress and uh, came a long way in just a few days what do you notice about the two a days what's different well I think everybody had reduced it down we only had three or four anyway and, and when we have lift in the morning days it's kind of a two a day uh, but it's not as taxing on the players bodies which is not all bad I think that's not a rule that I think a lot of coaches are overly upset about because we had reduced it down so much anyway. But we got enough time to get to it. So one of the things that Brandon talked about getting better at as a quarterback is being more patient um, in the pocket. Have you seen that out of him over this first week? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's so much patience with just trusting the timing of the routes. You know, everything is, it's not a drop back, you get so many seconds to throw kind of thing. Everything is, the route packages and the protection are tied in together and, the, you know, it's all, you know, the, the footwork is all predetermined based on the route package. So just trusting that part of it is what all of them need to get better at. And Brandon has, he's done a pretty good job, as they all have in the first week, but we've got, you know, a lot more route packages still put in too. How much more important will be this year for your running backs to be catching passes out of the backfield? Oh, it's just more important to keep them healthy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, whether they catch it out of the back or not, we just got to have them healthy. And and uh, they have, they all have good ball skills. So there's not a running back that we have that can't catch the ball well. So whether we kind of catch out of the back or line them up wide, which we'll do on occasion, it's uh, uh, it's a good group uh, is, with good ball skills. Is is Tilford advanced in that area for a freshman? Yeah, he's got good. They, yeah, they all got, and some guys it's more natural than others. But I would say they're all pretty close in their ability to catch the ball. What did you think about the energy in the scrimmage at the end of that game or right into the practice today? It seemed like there was a lot of energy on both sides of the ball. Oh well, uh, yeah. I always try to tell them if you're not enthusiastic, fake it. And so there might, <laughs> have, been a, there might have been a few that were faking it at the end. I think it always get they get fired up toward the end because they know it's kind of toward the end, you know. But I. Uh, I wasn't really pleased with a couple of things that, you know, in the middle of the peer team period, the second half of practice with, uh, defensively, but uh, at the end it was a lot better. They're, they're, they're a conscientious group. They'll, they'll be okay. Is it a mental thing, physical thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a fine line between, you know, you obviously you want your defense to be aggressive, you want them to make big plays, but you also don't want to be undisciplined. How do you kind of yeah, figure that, that out? Yeah, well, that is just it. I mean, you got to learn how to not, you know, keep your edge and be physical, be aggressive, but learn how to practice. And, you know, I, I expect the young guys will be the hardest, but the upperclassmen should know that. I mean, and I just had a meeting today at 430 trying to explain that to them. And they, they're getting it from their coaches too. Like I said, they're a conscientious group. They'll get it. If they don't, if a guy don't get it, he won't play. He won't be in the program. What have you seen out of Colin Schooler so far? The Colin is one of those linebackers that's uh, young guys that's going to have a great chance to play. You know, they're – we got a couple upperclassmen that play, like Brandon and and uh, um, some other, and DeAndre who's hurt. But and we have a lot of young guys that are going to be forced to, to compete. You know, not only that, but on special teams. So uh, we're hoping that they can continue to learn and and uh, you know, and play you know, on all special teams and play on defense. Coach Boone was saying that there are going to be times this year when the two lineback, the two you know, Mike and the Will are going to be guys who've never played before. Can can your defense you know function well? If that's the case, oh yeah, that's the expectation. Yeah, if they don't, I'll blame Coach Boone for saying that. To you. <laughs> yeah. What do you think your collective group of young safeties, your freshman sophomore class? Really, I probably as I mentioned yesterday, they're probably as advanced uh, mentally as any. Last year was a good group. A lot of those guys played as true freshmen, and this this group is is comparable. You know, Troy, Troy Young, Scotty Young. You know, they're they're advanced physically as you would for true freshmen. And we knew that, but mentally they've they've caught on pretty good. They're going to make mistakes, and that's why the next couple of weeks are pretty critical. But I like what I see. What do you think about your wide receiver group this year? Do you think? Uh, you can... I think they'll be better mm -hmm. than maybe with you know we lost three really good ones, guys that were starters basically for four years. But we have some guys that have played a little bit that basically their time has come, and then we have a few that that you know that maybe you're forgotten about a guy like Sean Brown. Sean Brown was a really is a really good player and played really good last year and not a lot of people are talking about him. But that's okay. I mean he's he's kinda quiet anyway. But we've and we talked yesterday about that's a I, I feel good about that group. I know you love tight end questions. Um Trevor Wood, where's he at in his having in his a really progress? good camp. Yeah. This is he's healthy. 
in uh, he's this he had a really good spring, and this is the best Trevor's looked in his career. So, you know, he's he's obviously a guy that we know we can rely on, and then we got Jamie Nunley who will push along. So there's the two two veteran guys, but uh, Trevor's had an outstanding camp. Is Trevor a guy who? A defensive back will have a hard time bringing down. Well, you hope that he, you know, the whole, yeah, the whole key when you get a guy that's six five and whatever he is, two fifty, that that you do win those matchups, whether it's against a smaller DB or a bigger linebacker, and, and we have some things, and we put some thing, more things in to try to take advantage of that. How does he look different than last year? I think he's more confident because he's been healthy for a whole year. That's been the issue with him before. He's stronger. He's more healthy. He's in, he's in great shape. And we're, you know, we're doing a lot more 11 personnel uh, things than we ever have. So he's probably more tired than he's been as well. Uh, running a lot, a lot more routes in practice than they ever had. Uh, but it's been good for him. Is Derek Bowles fully in the clear, and how and how has he looked out there? His, um, I don't think it's fi the, the the final thing will be done through Tuesday. But we don't. He's been practicing, and we don't expect any issues. And how has he looked? He's had a really good camp. Really competitive. I mean, he's. He's going to uh, really help us. So the, probably the most noticeable thing out there for, um, for when we got to watch is that you just have more defensive guys you can more, go to. How yeah, can that, that help? How can that help you? Well, there's more. There's more. By we've 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 really struggled. And love us because the injuries. We've not been able to play 20 to 24 guys on defense. We just haven't had that many guys healthy and ready to go. And so our goal in recruiting was to bring more defensive guys in and bring and force ourselves to get more guys to play because you can't expect defensive guys to play 80, 90 plays a game at any position. So you got to have more dudes ready. And and so we're going to force some of those young guys to get ready because. Whether they start or not, we got to play more. And we have, I think, as you said, we with that in mind, I've got more coaches on defense, I've got more players on defense, and I hope that, that will lead to more competition and better play. All right, thank you.